Wait, no, 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 no. Amrit, Amrit. What's up? Ria, what did you do? Why did you click? I didn't do anything. I just wanted to see something. No, no, no. Ria, I asked you not to touch anything. Yeah, I just wanted to look. I'm sorry. Okay. Good thing. Binomo has a demo account. You chose it and we didn't lose anything. But please, next time, don't touch anything without me. Or we may end up losing money without realizing it. I just can't wait to get started already. Let's prepare ourselves psychologically first. This situation shows that you can't rush into practice right away. Let's learn the basics of trading psychology. The first rule of thumb is that you don't want to jump into trades instantly. Once you're on the platform, you need time to adapt. About half an hour just to sit and observe. Understand the movements of the assets. Otherwise, you can make a lot of mistakes. Again, I'm sorry. The second rule is actually about admitting mistakes. It is psychologically difficult for us to admit that we have been wrong somewhere, especially in trading. Many people start blaming all sorts of external factors, whether it's the people around them, bad news on TV, or even the weather conditions. Or the computer buttons I didn't touch. Yes, yes, that's right. But when a person admits to themselves that they made a mistake, realizes where they made that mistake, and analyzes the situation so that they don't make that mistake again, that's the most correct approach to the matter. All right, all right, I'll be more careful. I'm sorry. There is such a concept, FOMO, fear of missing out. An anxious mental state when a person is afraid of missing out on an interesting or important event. For example, you look at the charts and think, now I have to act urgently or I'll miss everything. But it's not true. There can be dozens or even hundreds of such opportunities during the day. So it's possible to see something at any time? I said maybe or maybe not. Even if it doesn't happen today, it will definitely happen tomorrow. That's what's great about the market because you can always make up the gains the next day. So you mean I can sit at the computer all day and end up doing nothing? Yes, but that doesn't mean you're being lazy. You study and analyze. That's much more important and interesting. Next, a bad result is also a result. What do you mean? I'm going to lose something? How does that help me? If you make a mistake and something doesn't go the way you planned it, it just shows the weaknesses of the strategy. There is no one-size-fits-all technique. Our task is to minimize the risk. So, if you fail, you have to break down into atoms. Why? How? What affected it? I hope I don't need chemistry here because I don't know anything about atoms. <laughs> no, no. It's figuratively speaking. Based on the results of the analysis, you will be able to apply the knowledge more intelligently in the practice. Next point. Let's say you start trading and your first trade makes you 100 bucks. Cool? Sure, I certainly know what I'd spend it on. That's where we'll stop. It's definitely cool. But that doesn't mean every trade now has to bring in that much. This is where a lot of newbies break down. Because they blindly believe it's always going to be like this now. But that's a big misconception. I don't quite get it. You may have $100 one day and $5 the next. But you are still making money. An emotional swing, just like in a relationship. Yeah, that's what people are here for. To get an emotional high, to get energized, to feel excitement and fun. But let's not forget, sometimes emotions need to be kept in check. We can make a lot of trades, but for small amounts. Strategically, it will give a better result than wasting the whole balance in the first minute. Yes, the profit will not be that great, but in case of a mistake, it will be less frustrating. Yes. I remember you said that we take the money that we don't mind spending and regard it as a pastime. And you are a fast learner. I'd recommend you start writing a journal. You could write down all your actions, successful and unsuccessful. Like at school? Are parents going to be called? <laughs> <laughs> no, you record all your actions, which will allow you to analyze them more accurately. For example, when I was studying, I started trading. I tested my theory on the events that had already happened. Did you observe how the farmer strike affected the market or not? Not exactly. At first, I chose something stable and understandable. Gold. And I just watched it go up, down and cross-referenced it with the news and found a pattern. In 1997, gold went up. And the next, it didn't go up until 18 months. 
later 1999 it doesn't sound too convincing so far i tracked the trend further and realized that the cycle repeats every 18 months 40 days give or take and that way you can easily predict the when the price will rise again the same thing happens with currencies the market is cyclical many processes and behaviors of currencies repeat themselves we can capitalize on that okay i see that we should be level headed and unemotional here it's better to remove all feelings altogether and not think about anything mm not like that at all you can't give up all emotions many athletes soccer players boxers dancers are emotional and it doesn't stop them from achieving their goals now i'm just confused being overly emotional is bad lack of emotion is bad too what should i do then when you try trading with binomo you will know what it means an important component of success is not the emotional state itself it's the increased concentration and focus at that moment this is what enables people to perform effectively in a stressful situation our job is not to reduce emotions but to focus our minds sounds like you're about to start talking about meditation and chakra healing definitely not we focus all our emotions on one goal and do not let them overwhelm us enough to let ourselves get scared and make a mistake and in order to cope with all this to identify your approach to learn how to cope with emotions and to test your skills pinomo has a demo account is that the one you have open yes Let's register you now and I'll show you everything. Is it even safe? What if someone else get into my account besides me? No. You can even enable two factor authentication and protect your data. So many obscure words. I have been trading on this platform for almost 3 years and during this time there has not been a single case of unauthorized login to my account. Reliability and protection of its users is one of the decisive factors why I chose Binomo. Good thing you have already checked everything for you for me. A platform should be transparent about what happens with its users money and personal data. Binomo does a great job. You can withdraw funds at any time 24/7 without any artificial delays. If you have any questions, you can contact the support chat. Where is that? When we registered, I'll show you. Okay, but I don't think that practicing on a demo account will be exciting. I know the money isn't real. Well, first of all, you need to practice. There is no other way. Otherwise, it will be over before it starts. You can also try participating in the tournaments later on. They often organize them here, and through gamification, you start getting competitive and excited since you're driven to get to the top of the list. Okay, let me enter the email. I know your email. Now, come up with a password. But the more unusual it is, the better. Okay. Let's choose a currency. You can choose a local currency like rupees, but I prefer to transact in dollars. Now confirm the user agreement. Now go to your email inbox. You should have gotten a confirmation email. Confirm your email. Welcome to the world of trading and fun. Look, when you got on the platform for the first time, you are shown step by step instructions on how everything works here. There are 70 plus assets. some of which have returns of up to 90%. There is quite a variety to choose from. So for example, my first trade can almost double my balance? That's right. Choosing such a pair going into a trade for $100 in case of success you will get 190. Also, technical support here works 24/7 which is very convenient. No matter what time we are here, the specialists are always on call. You promised to show me. Now let's log in and check it out. We are offered to try and make a trade right now. Let's peak a price increase. L- let me click it myself. Uh, okay. And it's completed. Click. You see, we are given the choice to open a real account or a demo account. We'll choose a demo. Choose. So, let's try to write something in the support chat. Let's find out how we can top up. Huh. Here we are being shown the possible ways. But we already have the funds here on the top right. The deposit amount is ten thousand dollars. When entering a trade, you here choose a time frame. It is called a trading period. This is a time interval used to group quotes when building price charts element. Is there something simpler? Yes, the time of the trade. At this stage, it's a minute. Then you decide where the chart will go up or down. For convenience, there are arrows here. 
on the green and red buttons. The interface is intuitive. Now, sit on my seat. I'll get you something to drink. Hmm, you already decided to try it. Oh, stop! Did you switch that? Ria! I don't know, I think they were too open. I switched it over here. Ria! This is my account, the real one. You set it for two minutes. Higher, higher. Come on, come on, come on, come on.